What's up guys, it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and today we're going to be talking about R Factor 2 and Automobilista, some of the uh, I guess somewhat less known uh, sim racers, sim racing games for PC. A lot of us come from Assetto Corsa and maybe Project Cars before that or at the same time and probably see the names R Factor 2 and Automobilista or AMS as it's also known um, but we don't have a lot of experience with it and uh, so probably the most common question I get asked when I post a video from R Factor 2 or from Automobilista is are these games worth buying so I thought I would break down whether or not you should actually invest in R Factor 2 or Automobilista or both. So the most common transition into sim racing is into Assetto Corsa. It's far and away the most, most popular sim racer there is for PC. It, there's a lot of metrics we could use. Um, I mean, according to Steam sales, it's race room by a lot, but keep in mind that's a free download, so I think the stats are skewed. But you go on any online forum, um, you know, mod communities, that kind of thing. Assetto Corsa is just, you know, the, the largest market share. But that's not to say there aren't other great sims out there. So to answer the question of whether or not you should buy R Factor 2 or AMS is uh, we need to determine a few factors. The first factor or consideration is uh, are you a casual gamer or are you a new are you new to sim racing? So if you're a casual gamer and uh, somebody who picks up a set of Corsa perhaps or project cars on the weekend runs it for half an hour and shuts it down or if you're new to sim racing just kind of getting your feet wet maybe you bought a wheel and you're liking what you see you should probably stay away from R Factor 2 and AMS and uh, I, I made the same mistake or I made that mistake I should say and immediately jumped into the deep end of sim racing and bought all, all the games I could find essentially on Steam that were relevant that I saw kind of uh, getting notoriety in chat rooms and I remember firing them up when I first tried them and I thought this is terrible I have wasted my money. I've since revised that thought, and I love both these games, both R Factor 2 and AMS, but keep in mind that uh, you're not going to be initially blown away, so um, there's a couple more factors we got to talk about, but if you're, like I say, if you're a casual racer, or if you're new to sim racing, probably you're safe to avoid it for the time being. The other thing is, do you put a big value into uh, big name cars and tracks? i.e. do you want to live out the fantasy of say driving the Ferrari FXXK at Nordschleife? Maybe you do and again there's there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever but you will not get that from AMS or from R Factor 2. They tend to go to the smaller manufacturers, smaller racing series and lesser known tracks. Specifically in uh, AMS a lot of the tracks are Brazilian based and you might not have even heard of them let alone know them. So uh, again if, if doing if your thing is driving in a 2015 spec Ferrari Formula One car and going on some of the more famous circuits in the world a set of course is probably a better factor for you. Next one is are you tired of your current game? Um, spend enough time with any game you will get sick of it and that's that's just a fact so if you've kind of burned yourself out of project cars or Assetto Corsa it might be time to step up it's very difficult to burn out of Assetto Corsa specifically because there's so much modding but if you've just kind of had enough and you feel you've hit the limit then it might be time for a switch to uh, AMS or R Factor next one is do you love to hot lap I am amongst those people. I do more hot lapping than I do racing. And hot lapping is best done in a Seto Corsa. The available apps to track your time and that kind of thing is makes it just perfectly fitted to hot lapping. And you can improve times. There's uh, RSR live timing to track yourself against the world and things like that. Uh, not to mention there's countless videos you can watch of hot laps where you can compare your racing line to others. So a set of Corsa might be the best fit for you if you're into hot lapping. If you're into racing, conversely, uh, it might be time to switch to R Factor 2 and to AMS. Next up, 
are is modding and i kind of touched on this earlier is modding important to you because by a factor of at least 10 to 1 if you go on racedepartment.com which is kind of the epicenter of modding in the sim racing community a settle corsa by like i said about 10 to 1 or a little more than has uh, available mods this is including apps this is including uh, skins cars tracks everything uh, to our factor or automobilista i think at last count they're approaching 7,000 available mods for a settle corsa and i don't believe either ams or r factor 2 on race department has exceeded 500 that's not to say it's the only source of mods of course but just as a metric of how available the mods are a settle corsa far and away is the leader of that so I want to also premise that uh, they're not, of course, the exact same game, R Factor and AMS, but they do have a lot in common. As I mentioned a little while ago, they prioritize racing over hot lapping. So the AI is really dialed in, as is the handling in both games, and it makes it conducive to great single player racing or even uh, multiplayer. And... Uh, Ironically, in spite of the fact that hot lapping is best done in Assetto Corsa in terms of tracking yourself on the world stage, the, uh, the physics and the handling are much, much better in either R-Factor 2 or AMS. Uh, specifically, R-Factor 2 is superior in, uh, in the handling department. It's absolutely amazing. So, uh, again, it would be great for hot lapping, but it just doesn't seem to, that doesn't seem to be the industry trend. It's, uh, both these games also have great AI for uh, fun and fair races, as I mentioned. Uh, these, excuse me, they, both games have a very small uh, modding community by comparison, but that's not to say there are no mods. Uh, if you do a little digging, you can actually find most of the major racing circuits uh, are available for uh, both AMS and R Factor 2, but you sometimes have to do digging and sometimes they're conversions from R Factor 1 or something like that. But uh, there are mods to be had, just a lot less of them. Um, they're, both these games have less big name licenses. You won't find, well, you will find in very limited capacity Ferrari, uh, no Lamborghini, no Porsche, no Formula One license, that kind of thing and both also have quite average graphics and sound. Now, on that note, and I'll dig into this a bit more later, uh, R-Factor 2 is working hard to improve the graphics, but currently they are both what I would say average. Uh, they don't look terrible, it's not like you can't see what's going on on the track, they're just not at the standard of Assetto Corsa, and certainly not at the standard graphically of uh, uh, Project Cars. So, uh, some advantages, some reasons you might want to switch to R-Factor 2 include uh, the physics, uh, whether you uh, rank it number one or not, there's no question that R-Factor 2 is at the very sharp end of the field, of the sim racing field, when it comes to physics. The handling model, the tire model as they call it, um, you know, your tires flex as you go around corners and that kind of thing, and is, it is vastly superior to Assetto Corsa or Project Cars. Studio, uh, second point, uh, Studio 397 have committed themselves to improving the graphics. They recently released the DirectX 11 support. It's still in beta, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I'm running a beta copy of the DirectX support. So they are committed to improving the graphics which is really really cool will it ever look as good as project cars no but uh, they are committed to improving it and that is a major plus from any game studio next point uh, the steam workshop and integration is great um, not that it's extremely di difficult but uh, going through race department finding the correct mod downloading it uh, importing it can be somewhat uh, meticulous at times and it doesn't always work but the R-Factor 2 has great Steam Workshop integration you can go on there and find official mods and unofficial mods it's just simply a matter of hitting subscribe on the Steam Workshop and then the next time you open the game it will auto update and include the cars or tracks that you have added which is really really awesome I love that 
and again the races are fun and challenging but always fair so what i find is that even when i dial back the ai to say 90 percent 85 percent something like that i still have really great races so if you're getting to know a car or getting to know a track you can still have a lot of fun and not feel uh, that you're being taken advantage of. They're not going to spin you too often as they do in race room, etc., etc. So very cool in that regard. And they also have multi-class races, which I think is awesome. So you can actually race uh, different classes. You can be in the higher up class and, you know, deal with lapping other cars. Or you can deal... Or you can be the lower class of cars in a multi-class race and try and keep up with big boys which is also a lot of fun and uh, jumping now to ams automobilista the advantages again uh, similar probably not on the on the same level as but uh, certainly superior to a lot of others in its field uh, uh, ams has great physics great handling it feels much more like you're connected to the road than uh, Project Cars or Assetto Corsa. And they also have excellent open wheel cars. They're unlicensed, like you're not gonna get an official Formula One license or even a Ferrari license, but, uh, or anything like that, McLaren, Mercedes. But what you will get is excellent. There's different classes ranging from, I think they call it Formula Vintage through Formula Classic on up to Formula Ultimate, which is a nice recreation of an unlicensed current spec Formula One car. It uh, also another advantage of AMS is um, I mentioned before about are you living out a fantasy by sim racing, you know, taking a Ferrari out to Nordschleife or something like that. The thing is, you might get sick of that eventually because every major racing sim has Nordschleife. Every major racing sim has uh, Red Bull Ring or Spielberg, as it's sometimes known. Uh, every major racing sim has sort of recurring tracks and what Automobilista brings is tracks, like I said, that you've probably not heard of, or maybe you've heard of them, but you're not that familiar with. So it really opens you up to uh, new stuff in the world of sim racing. And I think there's uh, a lot cool to be said about that. Next up, um, similar to R-Factor, the uh, AI is really really sharp and it makes for great single player races that's more of my style i don't like to wait in lobbies for people to join etc i'm much more likely when i have a half hour free or an hour free to just jump on play some single player and ams absolutely delivers so uh, in summary uh, to sort of wrap this up about whether or not you should buy r factor 2 or automobilista Again, are you a casual gamer or new to sim racing? If you are, you can probably steer clear of these for the time being. You'll sort of know when it's time to transition. Next up, do you value the bigger name cars and tracks? If not, if you can do without those, then it might be a good fit to go to R-Factor or AMS. If you're tired of your current game, of course, don't give up on sim racing. Keep the community strong. But to keep things fresh, AMS and R-Factor 2 may be a good fit for you. Next up, um, is hot lapping a priority? You certainly can hot lap in these games, but uh, it's probably better done. It's cleaner in Assetto Corsa, so if that's not a factor for you, you could make the jump to AMS or R-Factor. And lastly, are the newest mods and latest greatest mods important to you? Uh, for example, a modding team like uh, ASR will release their mods for a bunch of different formats, including AMS, including R-Factor 2, but it's likely that they will be behind by a little bit time-wise. And yeah, a lot of other modding teams, for example, RaceSim Studio, do not support those games at all. So if modding is super important to you, you'll want to swing wide of these games. So that's going to do it, folks. I hope this helped you with your decision-making process. Again, I love both these games. I think the handling is fantastic. In fact, it's kind of hard to jump back into Project Cars or Assetto Corsa it, once you've done a few uh, few consecutive hours of R Factor 2 or AMS. Uh, it's just uh, the handling model is so superior that it feels great. But again, it's less polished. Uh, Assetto Corsa, I like to say that it's not necessarily the best at anything, but it's very good at everything. So it's uh, it's very polished, whereas R Factor 2 and AMS feel very raw by comparison. It's more like, uh, 
I guess I could make the analogy that, uh, you know, jumping from, say, project cars to a set of courses, like getting the training wheels taken off, and then AMS or, or R-Factor 2 is like riding with your eyes closed or with your hands off the handlebars or something like that. I don't know if that metaphor made sense or that analogy, but anyway, it's, uh, it's certainly a leap forward, and you're going to love it when it's time, but it's not necessarily for everyone. So... Thank you so much for watching. I know this was very talk based and uh, yeah, so thank you for being here and I hope this helps you with your decision making process and I will try to stay on top of the comments if you have any further questions about these games. Thank you again for watching and uh, please hit subscribe.